You won't believe how many legs this coyote has. I've got wildlife expert Brandon Sherrill here to help me figure it out. Showcasing North Carolina's candid critters. From the Museum of Natural Sciences, it's You Won't Believe with Roland Caves. We highlight the craziest pictures from North Carolina candid critters, a citizen science project where volunteers like you help us run cameras across the state to see wildlife and do science. Today, I've got Brandon Sherrill, a biologist with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, here to help me figure out what's going on with this crazy picture. Thanks for joining us, Brandon. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, so here's our, here's our picture. What's going on with this coyote? Well, he looks like he's walking down a path there in the woods um, with three legs. So hobbling, hobbling down the path a little bit more. Yeah, maybe. A coyote with three legs, is he doomed? Is he going to die like the next night or two after this picture? No, probably not. This coyote, you know, our wildlife are fairly resilient here in North Carolina and pretty much everywhere, but with three legs, that animal can get around pretty well, I imagine. Okay, and any idea what, what would have caused his legs to fall off? They don't fall off like lizard tails or anything. No, right? no, they don't. No, most coyotes usually have four legs. <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah, this one's a little unique, although it's not uncommon for us to see wildlife without, you know, missing an appendage. Um, more than likely, this animal was probably struck by a vehicle. Oh, um, right. But, you know, we don't have any way of knowing that for sure. So it's unlikely that it was another predator that, like, chewed off his legs and attacked him by the legs, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, we, we don't have a predator large enough that would take down a coyote here. Okay, so no mountain lions, no big gray wolves? Nope. All right, so so, so uh, probably some kind of human accident, human-related accident, most likely a car. Um, and so uh, what's really cool, actually, about this picture is we know that the coyote didn't, like, fall over and die because we have another picture from the same camera. And check this out. Yep, looks like he's got a couple of his friends there with him as well. Yeah, his offspring, right? So yeah. amazing. And so what's amazing is just the coyote's not only taking care of himself, he's got, got a family to take care of. Yep. And so w what are the chances that, that a coyote with a, with a missing leg could take care of itself and, its, and a, a whole litter of pups? Yeah, so coyotes, you know, they, they kind of work around in groups. And so the, they're going to have multiple individuals helping out with pups. So the males and females are monogamous and will work together so while this coyote obviously is able to get around there's another individual there to also help with rearing of young as well. So I spent a lot of time in the woods in the fields of North Carolina and I've only seen one or two coyotes with my own eyes. It gives me the idea that they're actually pretty rare. Coyotes they like to be pretty secretive particularly I mean they we know they live around people um, but they don't necessarily want to interact with us in any way so they do a pretty good job of staying hidden when they want to be. Um, clearly this animal is walking around during the day um, but these cameras we put out give us a real great opportunity to see things that you and I wouldn't necessarily be able to see just walking through the woods. So when volunteers run cameras for the project, they, we get these cool pictures, uh, but we also get the data. Is this uh, the sort of the numbers interesting to you guys as well at the commission? Yeah, it just gives us really good data on a lot of observations that we wouldn't normally get. Brandon, thanks so much for joining us here on the show. This is definitely the wobbliest coyote I've ever seen. And thanks to everyone out there for joining us as well. Remember, if you're in the state, Go to the North Carolina Candid Critters website to sign up and join the project as a citizen scientist. Help us run camera traps everywhere across the state, get more awesome pictures, get more important data, and uh, really learn more about the animals. I'm Roland Kays. See wildlife. Do science.